So my car's so low that when I backed it up, <clears throat> my car's so low that when I backed it up, mud flap ripped right off. But it's okay, because I was taking them off anyways. Do you ever have that problem where <clears throat> when you put your car, you know, in gear, it still wiggles like it's a neutral? Today, we're gonna fix that. So first thing we're gonna do is, the car's kinda low. So in the back, I got these wooden kinda ramps. Uh, my dad kinda just crushed one of them a little bit. But, you know what? She gonna be okay, she gonna be okay. So let's get these things under the car. Not quite perfect, but it'll do. Just on this side. We kind of miscalculated a little bit. It's a little bit off. But I mean, all right. Now, you just want to make sure you got a couple of these guys. Just so, you know, you're not rolling all over the place. That would be no fun. Smacker in a place there. So I got these bushings here. Uh, they're by Energy Suspension. Apparently they're really good, but at this point, even if they aren't, I mean, better than what I have right now, right? At least they're new. Uh, what we gotta do next is we have to jack the car up because currently, can't really get underneath the car without, uh, you know, without ease. So we're gonna have to jack the car up, put some jack stands under there. And uh, hopefully with a little bit extra leverage in the back. Shouldn't have a problem, you know, getting to what I need to get to. So let's go. Okay, so you might see like a little bit of a mirror image here. It's because a piece of metal fell on my phone and actually just made the tiniest crack through it. So that is inconvenient. Um, good thing I bought warranties. Okay, so this is our jack here. I've had this jack for, I don't know, 20 something years. And we have to jack the car up, so let's get to that. I am uh, loosening these bolts here, which is kind of a task and a half, not gonna lie. Can't really see anything. It's so like tight down here. Um, I got like three extensions here. I should just be able to unscrew that by hand. Well, I got one bolt out. I don't know if you, oh, well, you can see that part. Not very. Okay, so one's out. Now we gotta get the other one out, which is gonna be a bit more of a task. Okay, it cracked it. It's cracked. Good. I have like two inches of torque room here. Uh, this is pretty haggard, not gonna lie. But I didn't want to take my whole exhaust off, so. See this side better. Yeah, I didn't want to take my whole exhaust off, so instead, I got like a bunch of extensions and stuff here. This car is a lot rustier than it thought it'd be, but given its age, it's uh, no, no, it's 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 not that bad. Ah. Okay, everything came out on me. Nice. 
Yeah, so all this just fell right down, right on top of the exhaust. Oh, okay, that's cool. All right, so this is pretty important here. Um, I got the old one off, but there are little metal rings in there. You actually need those because you have to put them in into this this bushing. So I'm gonna get those out real quick. Oh yeah. Just a nice pair of needle nose does the trick. Now you just wanna insert those into the new bushing. And these are gonna be how you put the bushing, or screw the bushing back into the car. Just like so. Now I watched a few videos on how to do this, um, and a lot of them struggled with getting the shifter linkage actually back through this hole. So we're gonna use our friend WD-40 here, and hopefully that will help persuade her to get back into place. Beauty. This is what I'm talking about when people say they have trouble, okay? Or when I say that people have trouble, is this thing is like split. Which is kind of a bitch, which is why we have WD-40. And yeah, I'm real close to the car because, well, Needless to say, this car's low, and you know, even with the car jacked up completely in the front and the stands in the back there, it's just a pain in the ass to get under here. It's still, it's still low, you know, like no matter what. Uh, let's put this thing back on. This is a good angle for you. I don't know. Maybe there. Yeah, you can kind of see that there. Always good fun. Oh god, that's a terrible place. Oh, and you can hear all the shit flying everywhere. Mom, polyurethane. Oh, fuck. This is supposed to be easier to put on. Should have brought the WD 40 with me under the car. Oh, okay. There we go, we're back on. Nice. Eight second bolts going in. So we got one bushing done. Next up is this guy. Uh, oh man. This is less tight of a squeeze. I've got a bit more room. Except for I'm working right above my face. Wicked. So sorry this isn't really an informative video. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. It's more like a plug and play kind of thing. Oh, for fuck's sakes. You just broke the wrench, honestly. Oh, yeah, it's like rust wallet in there. Grab a cloth and see if we can clean that up. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Nice. All right. All 
All right, let's get that out. So put that down. It's right off. Okay, so apparently my recording stopped, which is great. And yes, I look like Jimmy Neutron right now, but that's besides the point. I'm gonna shower after this because I'm starting to change races over here. Um, we did get the the bushing out. Uh, I finally broke the nut. I don't know how much you actually saw, but I finally broke the nut. I got the old bushing out. And now we are going to put the new one in. Let's go. This might be easier laying on my stomach here, but we're just gonna clean off the old, whatever the fuck this is called. Honestly, I don't know. I'm not a professional. I'm just a guy with a car and a couple tools and a YouTube channel. I know this isn't really a cleaner, but apparently that's how we're using it now. I wonder which side's gonna be easier to get in. Come on, you're almost in there. God. I've been struggling for an hour and a little bit to get the pushing in and I've been underneath my car for like that period of time and I think I'm starting to go crazy. Uh, I did finally get it in, but I don't know if you can see it, but I had to chop off so much around the edge. Like I had to round it out. I was like grinding it on the concrete just to get it into into the goddamn thing. Oh my god. Serena is being a little bit of a bitch right now. But she finally gave in. Oh boy. Let's get the rest of the car back together. All right, so here we are. I got scared for a second thinking I put it in the wrong way. And I'm still not too sure, uh, cause this is really tight here. Right. So it's kind of freaking me out. Um, God, that weird glare from the broken camera is just, oh, it's freaking me out. It's weird, I don't like it. But uh, no, it seems to be okay. Let's Let's go test it out. That is a lot tighter. Not gonna lie. It's a lot tighter, but still kind of wobbles. So I don't know, maybe this brand wasn't the best, but this is what Speed Factor just kind of defaulted to when I said I needed bushings. So, this is what I got. And you know what, it's a bit tighter, it works, it's I feel like uh, performance wise, shiftings are gonna be, or my shifting's gonna be a little bit better, you know, a bit tighter. Um, Serena is the first car I learned to stick on, so that's cool. I've had her since the beginning. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, obviously, I didn't show you absolutely every little thing, and sorry, it's not as informative as, you know, you might have liked to have might have liked it to have been. Um, I'm not a professional, this isn't a how-to, this is just me doing it. Um, is it the proper 100% professional way? Probably not, but at the end of the day, you know, it works, uh, and it's always good to replace parts even if, you know, you just end up with the same thing anyways. Um, yeah, it's always good to always good to replace parts and you know keep everything updated keep keep maintenance on your car and that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna build up Serena and keep her going even if she's at that many goddamn kilometers which is crazy but that's all I got for today guys peace out I'll see you next time